what a lovely, lovely day. Absolutely glorious weather here as we welcome you to a football match of considerable significance. Great consequence in this part of the world. They've been talking about this one for a while and they have rolled up to it in fantastic numbers. You should have seen the roads outside the ground in the hour or two leading up to it. It has been bumper to bumper. The traffic has been extraordinary. But the level of expectation is also very, very high. And uh, these supporters who uh, were queuing round the block for their tickets as soon as we knew the date of the fixture, well, now they can't wait for it to begin. And begin it will any second now. It is a venue, this, which simply adds to the spectacle of the game it stages. One of the most impressive arenas in this part of the world. the whistle Kulka Kulka goes looking tries to get it forward quickly great strength too strong for his opponent and here's Cisse Shapes to shoot! It's there! Well, from right in front of goal, there was no way he was going to miss. Well, he made it obvious as to where the pass should be played, Peter, and it made the finish look that bit easier. Alanya Spor have an early lead. Good start. And he's going long. Oh, good interception. That's been drilled forward. Kulka is there, and he can get that clear. And it's Cisse. Papi Cisse. And it's Cisse. Up he goes! Great header, made it look easy. Well, as contact goes, that was tremendous, and it helped him to direct it exactly where he wanted into that net. I think when it comes to the area of the park, this fella is definitely no slouch. starting to look very comfortable no doubt as to who has the momentum here now the only doubt is how many is coming well positioned to make that interception Cisse whistle's gone that's a foul And it's Cisse, out to the right. He gets past his man. Shooting chance! Well, he doesn't need a second invitation, even from that range.
Kasim Pasha have made it clear what they're trying to do for me, Peter. What are they trying to do? Well, I think they're making the pitch as big as possible, work both flanks into, into better supply routes. It's picked him back! Oh, just lacked a decent finish. Kasim Pasha just served up a reminder of how good they can be on the break. Their method is clear. Someone up front. And the first 45 minutes are up. We can review the first half. Well, they had their opponents reeling in that half, Peter, and the break may influence the change somehow, but don't hold me to it. Alanya Spore are in at half time on a comfortable two goal cushion. Whistle goes, and we start the second half. So both teams emerge the same as they were before the break. Towards the front line. Kulka is there to heave it away. Zabuta looked promising, but uh, eventually thwarted without doing any harm. And that's sprayed out wide. Can he deliver? Lovely bit of skill. And he's cut it out. Get that clear, hoists it forward. Pektemek gets into a dangerous position. Too much on it, and that's the keepers. That's a foul, no two ways about it. And he is going into that little black book. Played forward, over to the left. And it's got through. Time to deliver. Forward it goes. And he's made sure that that won't get through. Played out to the right. Over it comes. He's gone for it! Worth a try, but not this time. Ah, oh, that's unlucky. The idea was really smart for me, and, and he's had a good go at it. Hoisted clear. The referee looks at his watch and blows his whistle. Alanya Spore, a victory here, and on balance they were worth it. Your reflections then, Jim. Alanya Spore were victorious here, and rightly so. When you're allowed free licence to strut your stuff in wide positions, we can only...